Like uh, a number of my works, there was a spontaneous element to it. Inspired by growing up in Bioki Peterson, Queensland, and I was developing this new character called the Reverend Dingo Howells. I wanted to somehow or another represent that experience in a persona. So I came up with this idea, a sort of cowboy parson. I was on my cousin's property and I brought out the uh, book that my father had on tyrants. And uh, I'll go out to the barbed wire fence to read this book because I drew an image of a, uh, an Aboriginal stockman actually leaning against a fence when I was a kid. I copied it from somewhere, I think. And I thought I'll do that, but this will be a white man reading this book on tyrants. Anyway, uh, my shirt got caught in the barbed wire and as I was pulling back, from, I, I went, oh, this is like I'm being shot. Um, I'm being speared. So I came back to Brisbane and I did this sh uh, shot of Richard in a studio because of the complexities of racial relations. He didn't want to be dressed up in any tribal way. Um, but he agreed to pose in black uh, clothing with that um, unusual spear, uh, which is nothing like an Aboriginal spear. And um, I wanted to add to the complexities of the shot so that it wasn't purely de demonstrating something. And uh, the spear hasn't left Richard's hand. I'm, as uh, Reverend Dingo Howells, reacting to some kind of um, psychic wound, some sort of injury. Uh, and central to this image, um, this diptych, was the historical um, event that took place uh, outside of Springshaw, between Springshaw and Emerald, in 1861. My cousin is a descendant of a family that was massacred there. And it was the largest uh, massacre of Europeans, or non-Indigenous, by Aboriginal people. However, it pales in significance to what was perpetrated on Aboriginal people. The memory of that massacre was rather fragmented, even when I was growing up. It wasn't something that was alive and vital and always talked about. Now, with the resurgence of Aboriginal culture, we're really being um, uh, exposed to quite a significant reconsideration of our own history, a reconsideration of the history of this country, and a recognition that there were people here before, there were vital cultures living here before. And uh, so for me, having cousins descended from uh, Horatio Spencer Wills, the patriarch who came up from the south, to settle at Cullen Laringo. It's exciting to have connection, real connection with history in particular ways because I grew up in a small town that had no history. So I thought. So we have, a, we suffer from amnesia in this country in a really serious way. I grew up with all this hidden history and I'm determined to expose and develop as much of it as I can.